I know I know better than that. I know where I'm still st <sighs> well, I'm still standing. Father, I just wanna, I just wanna stand in front of you. I bow down in front of you. I wanna ask that you forgive me. <laughs> Uh, humbly speaking that, that you forgive me that I lost oh. Oh. oh I'm sorry oh, I'm so sorry I know I'm still standing here I know uh, why I made it so far in life I know even when I fall, even when I fail, I fall and flat on my face. I know why I was able to get back up and fight through it all. Even when I say, when even when I think about it and I say, I, I read all the books. I did the hours of reading. I spent a lot of time by myself. I did this, even though I, I know why well, I felt like it was me. It wasn't just me. It was God. God, God giving me the tools, the signs to even spiritually grow. God helping me survive when I felt like I couldn't. God helping me be strong when I felt like I was weak. God giving me, giving me the strength to move forward when I felt like I couldn't. And that made it seem, that made it seem like it was just me. It was just me by myself and I know it wasn't. And that was, it was really selfish of me. I want to share. I want to share a story with y'all I experienced in jail. And um, when I was in uh, this was two years ago. When I was in, I was a, I was, I did a couple months in uh, LA County Jail, and it's a real life experience. And um, and uh, when I was when I was there, I was this is when I first started learning about the Bible. I went to my cell and I, I was doing, I did like a month and a half with my cellmate, his name is Joshua Pardue. When I was in jail, he first started teaching me about the Bible and it was a heart, it was a humbling experience. Experience, it was real humbling because me learning about the power of Jesus and how humble he was with so much power he had really made me humble myself. Knowing how much fame I had, but how I carried myself, it wasn't, it wasn't how Jesus carried himself. It was just evil. All the, all the, I had wicked energy. But learning the, um, learning the experience, I mean, learning about the stories of Jesus and how humble he was, it really made me humble myself, right? One time, I was so caught up in the Bible. It was uh, one time I took it out. My, one night I took it out. My, I took, I took time to sing a melody. To sing a melody for the uh, for for the people in jail. I was in my cell, but I sung it loud enough so everybody could hear me. And uh, I was singing, "Jesus loves you, for He died on the cross for our sins. He's always with you from beginning to the end." And I was I was just singing that. It was something simple. 
but I was singing it because it's a lot. It's a lot of people in jail, and uh, they just forget that they're loved. A lot of people facing murder charges or whatever, doing life, and there's just a lot of negative energy in jail. And I just wanted people to just get reminded that uh, they're loved. But when I was singing it, I was singing it full of joy, and I would never forget this. I was singing it full of joy, and I was singing it as loud as I could. Now, I only told uh, probably like three people this story. Uh, but I'm going to tell all my subscribers and everybody who's following me and the world this story today. When I was done singing it, um, I laid, I laid down. I laid down to my right to my right side and I put the blanket over me and I and as soon as I laid down I started crying right as soon as I laid down and I don't know why I started crying but I just felt sad I felt so sad and I was laying down on my right arm bundled up in the cover and I was just crying but I wasn't crying for long because I felt the touch. And it wasn't like a hand. It wasn't like, it wasn't like a, a, a palmed hand, but it was a touch. And it started small, it started real small, but it got, it got bigger. And it, it was so soft. It was so soft. And it felt so, it felt so comfy. When it was touching me, I just immediately stopped crying. I stopped crying. It's like, yeah, you felt the spirit. He said you felt the Holy Spirit, and I was like, oh man, Josh. And I was like a, I was like, I was explaining the story of like a a, a fan who just seen a celebrity, like a fan girl who seen a celebrity. I was explaining to Josh, Josh, and I was so happy, and I just, I never. I never told any. I told only like three, three people that story. But uh, I just want y'all to know, just put God first, and whatever, whatever you're going through, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. It's okay. You're gonna make it through it. I've been through a lot of tough situations. I got so many stories to tell, but this video was just about. It was just about uh, putting God first. And don't ever forget that whatever you go through, when you make it through, you didn't make it through. You didn't, you didn't do that alone. You didn't do that alone. You didn't do that alone. You know, 